This is a short video to help school staff have a better understanding of hypoglycemia, also known as hypos or a low blood glucose level. Hypoglycemia refers to a low level of glucose in the bloodstream. It is defined by a blood glucose value of less than 4 millimoles per litre. Hypos are often categorised as mild, moderate or severe. It is the presenting symptoms that will usually be used to determine the severity. Symptoms can include shakiness, looking pale, developing dark circles under the eyes, feeling very hungry or confused. The child may also feel tired or tearful. Parents or carers will be able to tell you the signs to look out for. If you suspect a pupil is hypo, please do a finger prick blood glucose test. If the pupil uses a glucose sensor, it's important to still do a finger prick test to establish a true blood glucose reading. For treatment guidance, please refer to the pupil's individual healthcare plan, as children on injections and insulin pumps manage hypos slightly differently. The aim of treatment is to bring the blood glucose levels back up above four. If the pupil is hypo, it's important to provide treatment swiftly. Please avoid unnecessary activity, so don't move the pupil from a classroom to a medical room, as activity can make the blood glucose levels fall even further. Give the pupil their preferred glucose treatment. This will usually be sweets or a sweet drink. Their individual healthcare plan will provide details on suitable quantities and parents will provide suitable treatments. Once the glucose has been given, set a timer for 15 minutes when you will need to recheck the glucose level to verify if enough glucose treatment has been provided. This 15 minutes recheck must be with a finger prick blood glucose sample. Do not be tempted to use a glucose sensor reading as sensors often read five to 10 minutes behind real time during hypo treatments. If the blood glucose remains under four, provide further treatment. Retest the blood glucose levels 10 to 15 minutes later. Once the blood glucose is above four, children on injections will typically be given a small snack, for example, a biscuit, whereas children on pumps do not need one. Hypos are typically mild and resolve swiftly after 15 to 20 minutes with appropriate treatment. However, a hypo can result in more severe symptoms, which may make the pupil feel very sleepy. A worst case scenario could result in unconsciousness. Parents should provide schools with glucogel, a sugary gel designed to be applied directly to the gums of the mouth, where the membranes will absorb the glucose. If the pupil is unconscious, this gel must not be used. If you're dealing with a severe hypo, place the pupil in the recovery position, call 999 and the parents, and administer the glucogel if it feels safe to do so. If in any doubt, do not administer it. If the gel gets administered incorrectly, it could pool in the back of the throat and cause a choking reaction, which could be very dangerous. When paramedics arrive, they will administer intravenous glucose or an intramuscular injection of a hormone called glucagon, which stimulates the release of stored glucose back into the bloodstream. In rare scenarios, school staff can be offered training on the administration of glucagon. Your local diabetes team will discuss this with you. So what causes a hypo? It is usually because of an imbalance between the insulin taken, the food eaten and the pupil's recent activity levels. Hypos can often be avoided through close monitoring of blood glucose levels, by ensuring the pupil eats their break time snacks if required, by making sure they eat all of their lunch and by managing activity appropriately through extra glucose monitoring and providing additional snacks when required. Children who wear glucose sensors can use this technology to help predict hypos. If the sensor warns you that a hypo is likely to happen soon, providing a small snack can help prevent the hypo. Your local diabetes team and the pupil's parents or carers will provide more specific information about how you can help prevent hypos. So what are the take home messages about hypoglycemia? Hypos are a normal part of living with diabetes and can't be completely avoided. Hypos must be treated promptly to avoid a mild hypo becoming more severe. During treatment, keep the pupil supervised by a trained adult and keep them in one place until the hypo is resolved. 
if the pupil wears a glucose sensor, use finger prick blood glucose testing to ensure you have real-time glucose values to make appropriate decisions from. All pupils with diabetes have an individual healthcare plan. Please refer to it for more information on how to treat their low blood glucose levels. If you need any extra advice or information, please speak to the pupil's parents or carers or your local diabetes team.